Hello Cancer and welcome to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I am Fifi. Uh, yeah, so welcome. I'm going to get straight into your weekly love reading um, and it is titled Who's Coming Towards You. Uh, now Cancer, it could be someone from your past or if it's someone new or if it's, you know, <laughs> both. <laughs> um, I will definitely be exploring all of this for you. Uh, now Cancer, there will be an extended for this, but I will be offering it at a big discount. So if you is want to uh, rent the discounted sorry if you want to rent the uh, extended reading uh, for three days that is two dollars and um, for those that wish to purchase uh, the reading for life that is four dollars uh, the link to the extended is in the description box below and for those that wish to book a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me where I focus on you um, your person and your situation uh, that's all that information is actually below as well so, Cancer, let's get straight into it. Love reading for my dear Cancer. Beautiful water sign. What um, should you know? Who is coming towards you, Cancer? My dear Cancers, who is coming towards Cancer? Beautiful Cancerians, who's coming towards you? One more time. All right, now that quick shuffle. Who is coming towards Cancer? Cancer, please. Whoa. Okay, that really flew out. Okay. Alright, not picking up jumping cards unless I'm guided to. Okay, they really want to jump out. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> How sloppy does that look? All right, cancer. Oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Eight of Wands. Oh, we definitely have communication coming in fast. Page of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, earth sign. Oh, wow. Lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Ten of Wands, okay. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. We have our Death card and Rebirth. Good dealing. Could be dealing also with a Scorpio. And we have Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Mm, overall energy. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, Cancer, from the get-go, I'm kind of feeling this is someone that you know. It could be someone that you're actually dealing with um, presently uh, as well. Uh, so I'm definitely seeing here that you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm seeing a water sign here, a strong Gemini, fire sign. Yeah, so I'm getting several messages. Now, uh, Cancer, some of you um, may have been in a very long-term committed relationship, engaged, married, married. Uh, with this person some of these may have children and some of them are actually adult children right now um, but the message is still the same if you're not married if there's no children uh, you know it, it really felt like you were in a committed relationship though uh, and I do I'm, I'm getting the word unfinished business here um, you got the eight of wands some of these may be at a distance from each other uh, but there's fast moving communication um, text messages email phone calls back and forth back and forth and they are coming with a passionate message here for you yeah, they're very passionate about you, very attracted to you. Maybe dealing with a Gemini uh, Cancer. Now, we do have the lovers here. This is definitely a soulmate connection here. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, gazing into, into each other's eyes, you admire each other. There is that passion there. But I'm also getting that it's not just about the physical. It's not just about passion, though. No. Um, you get each other. And there's a feeling here that some of you, you know, um, felt safe or feel safe with your person comfortable uh but you know the the card dominating the entire spread is the ten of wands more fire energy uh so this connection has been through kind of a really rough patch at the moment um you know some of these may not be talking to each other uh you know there could be I, i'm not really sensing that emotional distance um you know where kind of love ignites then it's not yes no i'm kind of seeing here maybe they're not really talking to each other though the love is still there though and yeah yeah, I'm, I'm getting to not talking to each other. Um, and we've got here, you know, what does your person wish to do? They um, want to balance the scales 
um, of this relationship. They want to prove to you that there can be an equal give and take, though. I, and I'm getting the word from Spirit that they're doing, they're coming back around again, though. Uh, from the get-go, Cancer, I'm, I'm seeing there's been a lot of hurt here. Now, either, you know, your person deeply hurt you um, or you hurt your person. I'm getting, though, more that um, your person uh, hurt you, though. Uh, yeah, so one of you's walked away. Both of you couldn't have walked away. Um, if your person walked away from you, it forced you to walk away and move on with your life or vice versa, though. Uh, so, you know, it seems like at the moment, yeah, that there was an ending here, but of course it says there ending and rebirth. So yeah, there is, it could be dealing most definitely with a Cancer, uh, sorry, a Cancer, a Scorpio here. I'm seeing a lot of water energy, uh, but this is my Twin Flame Soulmate card here. So he's a kind of, if he's could and get away with it, he'd be joined at the hip. There is a lot of love here though, but the overall energy at the bottom that there is a lot of heartache here. Your heart is broken, Cancer. I also feel like your person's heart is broken as well. There's a lot, there's a lot of mirroring here. Um, now I'm definitely seeing here that the communication, both of you want it, both of you have a broken heart. You both love each other and you're both not talking to each other though. Yeah, there's a lot of mirroring going on here though. Now I do feel that there was some kind of deception here. There could have been a third party. So in your case, if there was infidelity, you know, it is showing through here. You're both still suffering, though. Um, and I'm hearing that your heart has been broken into a million pieces, though. Um, now, you know, every situation would be different for cancer, for the whole collective. Uh, if there was no infidelity, you know, if you're sure of it, um, there could have been some interference from outside friends, families, co-workers, um, work, travel. And it just got too much and it drew, it drew a wedge between both of you. So this is a very basic blueprint you could say of your story now we're going to use more cards i'm going to get more information so i definitely see i, I keep hearing the word that you know I, they're going to come back around i keep i keep hearing that now there is a lot of love here i'm hearing the word hug some of these need a hug you've been yearning for a hug i feel like you've been lacking physical touch and there's one thing I know with cancer is that, um, you know, you are all about the home life, you know, taking care of people, but the touch, I feel like that's something you've been, you've been lacking, affection here. All right, let's get lots more information, oops, for you, cancer. All right, here we go. Who oh, cancer? Who's coming towards cancer? Let's get more information. Cancer, please. Oh. Yeah, a lot of jumping cards here. All right, cancer, please. Okay, king of wands. King of swords. Okay, we could have more than one person here. Knight of Wands, yeah, we've got that passionate message, passionate changes. We've got Temperance, Sagittarius. Okay, so we also have the Hanged Man here, Pisces Energy, Ace of Cups, look at that. Nine of Cups, oh wow. Two of Wands, yeah, Four of Swords, yeah, definitely not talking to each other. Uh, Page of Swords here, yeah, they keep an eye on you. You've got the Emperor here, more fire energy. Yeah, don't, both, definitely, um, both of these are single. We've got the Ten of Pentacles twice, we've got the Hermit. Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, again. <laughs> uh, the Five of Wands, we have the Four of Cups. Five of Swords, we have the Four, more Aries energy. Uh, overall energy, bottom of the deck, we have the Sun. Now, that is very promising. Okay, now, I say this in every reading, um, in case there are new viewers here. So, when we do get Cancer, the same cards from different decks in the same reading, see? Uh, three of Swords, Three of Swords. Now, this is spirit and the, the whole energy of the reading affirming this message, solidifying the message for you to really pay attention, though. And it could be that it's also mirroring each other, though. Yeah, so we do have... Now, male or female, it doesn't matter, though. I go based on energy. Uh, so we have the King of Wands and we have the King of Swords. Now, uh, for some of you, not all of you, though, um, I'm definitely seeing that there's two people here that want to approach you. You know, we, the King of Wands is all about action. They want to take action towards you, towards what they had. You know, especially if there was that 
you know, the home, the family life and all that. But, um, you know, we're, I'm just trying to find, you had, I will find it. Okay, when we get to there, I'll find it. <laughs> no, we had it somewhere. Okay. All right, you know what, I'll find it. I wanted to find the other um, tent that's right here in front of me, the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. I think both of these want the same thing, see? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, so we have someone else coming in also. Now, their sword is on the side. It's not pointing up uh, and it's not pointing down, which is a good thing. That shows definite blocked communication. Um, but this person's coming in to uh, reveal some information, not all of it. Uh, but there is going to be some truth with it, though. I'm also strongly suggesting that um, a friend, an acquaintance, family member of your person will also be coming in as well. Uh, I, I kind of think they also kind of want to arrange this reunion. Um, and I do feel like there is unfinished business here, though. Uh, they are definitely coming in. I'm seeing a lot of fire sign. Sagittarius here. More Sagittarius fire sign. Um, they're coming in with a passionate message, passionate changes. Yeah, they're passionate about you. Some of you may have believed or sensed that your person had a wandering eye, that they were a very big flirt um, around other people. Um, that may have bothered you. But... Yeah, I think they're understanding that now. There, there is definitely coming back around with this. Um, so there is healing. Healing is desperately needed. Now, it may take a while for them to actually come back, but that is their intention. And it's most certainly, I see here that their action, um, yeah, it's definitely, I feel like it's definitely going to happen. Now, we do have the hanged man here. And, you know, we have some water energy. We have the ace of cups here. There is a pause here. And I feel like what's happened here with this heartbreak, um, I'm sensing a little bit of this. Well, not a little bit. I am sensing some deceit that's happened here. They broke your heart, though. They want to rekindle this. We have the Ace of Cups. If you can see that the cup is overflowing. Yeah, they, know, they definitely love you. There is a lot of emotion here, especially with the the lovers here. Uh, yeah, we've got you making a choice. Some of these could be at a distance. Uh, but for Two of Wands, for me, you know, that is, you know, a new job, new career, new partnerships, new relationships, everything that's new. Um, so this is great. So if you're trying to do something new for yourself, Cancer, you are on the right path, especially with career. Um, we do have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Yeah, absolutely. You are each other's wish fulfillment. It's, it's just make each other happy. That's why we did get the the sun. Here we are. I'll leave that there. Oh, look at that. We keep going further back. We've got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so some of these were in a beautiful, committed relationship where you got each other. Some of these were married, were engaged. Some of these had children together. Uh, but they do want to definitely, they want to restore this. They want to save this relationship. Uh, they're definitely looking at you, though. This is my spying card, but not in a creepy way, though. They want to keep tabs on you. Now, they definitely want to communicate because the sword is pointing up, though. Yeah, it's like they want to move away from the Ten of Wands. Yeah, see, it's definitely not talking to each other, though. Yeah. Cancer, some of these may be emotionally but more mentally exhausted from this, though. I do feel like these are pining, missing each other, longing for each other, though. Um, but I do see that they're going to take action towards you. Uh, both of you are definitely focusing on your own life here, um, on your career, your projects, any creative pursuits, your finances, your life, your health, bettering your life, you know, sending it to a much more higher level though and that's well that's fantastic congratulations but you know you could be dealing with an Aries here and you know it could be a father figure as well it is someone that's also very career focused um as well and they know what they want they go and they get it so okay uh, but they're definitely it's all about action the emperor knows what they want they go and they take action uh, so they're definitely coming your way though you could be dealing with a virgo as well um so i'm definitely seeing here what you know there's a kind of a separation from this you know from this beautiful home life or family or even you know the prospect of having this dreaming about it and now both of you are well, very much single looking within and i feel like cancer you're doing a lot of healing a lot of work on yourself even if you're not aware of it um you are advancing soul level yeah so you got another ace here ace of swords and we got the three of swords again so yeah there is a lot of healing that is taking place um again sword is pointing up yep no it, you know truth clarity the, the path before you is a lot more clearer especially cancer if you are on the fence with this person or if you think every time you think about this person you think about how they broke your heart though uh the question is though and i keep getting this from spirit is um do you want to forgive them are you able to forgive them after what happened i'm definitely sensing someone had a wandering eye i um, mean sometimes if they flirted how they acted around other people um, it did bother you, though. 
uh, but you know they kind of thought it was just light-hearted fun but no uh, and we do have here the five of wands and we also have the four of cups so I definitely feel your partner is not dealing with this separation very good you know I feel like you're going through a lot of healing looking within filling your own cup but you know the five of wands is conflict bitter words harsh words exchanged a lot of people also having opinions getting involved meddling you know when they really shouldn't because it's your relationship it's not theirs um your person also from what i'm seeing here they also may be um drinking too much there's a you know it's like the way how they deal with it they could be eating too much gambling spending too much there is something that they're doing too much just to fill that void um, you know, this card sometimes can be linked, you know, with sadness, depression, feeling dissatisfied, bored as well. Um, but the reason why they're like this is because there's a void. Cancer, you're not in their life. That's why. And I don't think they can take that anymore. No. So we have the Five of Swords. And we also have the Fool Aries. Also Aquarius and Pisces here. I have more Fire Sign here. Yeah. So another you know, thing is this person sometimes likes them. I'm just getting here that they may also have a bit of ego issues. Uh, they like to win at any, any cost. You know, I'm seeing the competition here with the vibes. Um, but that's the thing. You know, there is conflict. There is deceit, turmoil. Yeah. But they caused all of this. We've also got the Fool. Yeah, they definitely, they're definitely going to take that chance and they're just going to come straight towards you, though. I feel uh, cancer for a lot of you is that you will also take that chance as well to hear them out because I keep hearing the word forgiveness. Are you able to forgive them, cancer? Do you want to forgive them, though? Because I do feel like they're coming in quite strong, though. All right, I'll pull one card um, for each pile. Yeah, they're definitely coming in. I feel like, they, yeah, they're rushing in. They're very aware of how your heart is. Uh, they're very aware of your emotions here. And I keep hearing the word I want to rekindle and restore uh, what they had. What they had with you, though. There was potential. There was a lot of potential in this beautiful relationship, though. There was a lot of love, a lot of respect. You got each other. And I, these are the words I'm getting downloaded from spirit. You know, it's you felt comfortable. You felt safe with each other. You got each other. Some of you even listen to the same music i'm hearing music from the 60s that's not for all of you though um that's good music too from that time <laughs> there's a lot of dreaming going on of the future of what could be what should be the potential uh, that you know the promises fell short from this person i'm hearing from spirit that a very small percentage of you the roles are reversed um, in other words, maybe you were the one that broke your person's heart, um, but the majority of you, of course, you can always flip it around. This is your reading, um, Cancer, but I'm feeling the majority, majority of you is that your person wants to come back to you. Yeah. They want to clear the air. They have something to say to you. And yeah, this is definitely not over. They, they don't see this as over. Well, <laughs> there's your card coming out, <laughs> Cancer. All right, this is, they're getting... And your cards really want to talk today. One more time. For cancer, please. Here we go. Yeah, we got the reunion there. We got the three. And the more threes I see, the more interference I was um, seeing also that happened in the past. Um, uh, with people out, you know, outside interferences. But there is that is a happy card. It is reunion, though. Yeah. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, sometimes it can mean that there was infidelity um, here, that there was another person, you know, and they're kind of looking at you, looking at the relationship, looking forward. Um, that is not for everyone, though. So please take it how it resonates to your situation, though. Um, but I'm definitely seeing you know, how much they admire you, though. Yeah, they want the victory with you. And, you know, they kind of see you as a very successful person, that whatever you put your mind to, creative or career-wise pursuits, financial, taking care of yourself. Yeah, they really admire you for doing that, though. Yeah, they definitely want victory with you with the Six of Wands. Yep, there we go again. They've got a passionate message for you. got the Queen, Queen of Rods. Yeah, they're going to take action. And the fact that I'm seeing two Queens, again, it, it, you know, it's kind of cementing for some of you that there was a, a third party here. It could have been also a mother, uh, mother-in-law, female friend, female co-worker. Uh, it doesn't have to be fidelity, though. Sometimes it just means interference, opinions, influencing the other person, though. Um, but, yeah, no, they're taking action. They're looking straight ahead, and they're looking at you. 
Yeah, see, they want to move on. And they're actually afraid that you already have moved on, though. That's probably, you know, they're not going to show it. The Emperor is <laughs> very headstrong. They're not going to show it. But internally, they are a bit worried that you have moved on. But they do want to move into calm, calmer waters with you. Yeah, they see, they've got a lot of regret here. Shame, guilt, embarrassment. Like I say, guilt seeks punishment here. Yeah, it's like they're kind of racking their brains over, oh, I can't believe I did that. Cancer, you know, I feel there's a lot of sadness on your part as well, because you saw the potential. It was there, you just had it. <laughs> yeah, we got the death card twice. And I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's on the same pile, yeah, both of these are mirroring each other. Definitely could be uh, dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but yeah, what I'm seeing here is, yeah, I, this is, it was like an absolute ending, but it's not over. It is the rebirth. They are coming back around, though. Um, I think both of you are sad because you see that it's over, but it's not. And I feel like they're going to be the first to take action. Now, there we go. We've got our reconciliation card here. Yeah, for some of you, there's definitely children involved. We've got the engagement. We've got the marriage there. Um, if that's not your story, message is still the same. This is a soulmate relationship. Definitely knew each other in other past lives. There is a lot of love here. There's a lot of affection here. Wow. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you. They are. They're trying to use all the tools that they have to manifest you back in their life. Look at that. So much love. And there you are, Cancer. It's more Scorpio, but we do have Cancer and Pisces there. They absolutely, There is so much love here. Bottom of the deck, we've got Temperance. Healing Sagittarius again. Wow, this is quite powerful though. Can this be saved, Cancer? Yes. Can it be restored? Yes. Can it be healed? Absolutely though. I do feel like they'll be coming first. I feel like they just can't take it anymore. They can't. And they realize that the reason why this happened, they are at fault. If you think, Cancer, that you are at fault with this, please do not fret though. You do realize what's happened. There is, I do see an apology. I do see that there's a rekindling here. I do see a talk though. This is... But this is beautiful energy, I will admit. Don't forget, we do have the sun, the ten of cups as well. It's happiness, love, holding each other. Beautiful. I'm going to take this cancer to the extended. I'm going to clear the table. I'm going to use new, um, different tarot decks, um, oracle cards as well. And I really want to go deeper into this person, uh, your person that wants to come back, though. want to look into the present. Um, possibly how long can this take? Um, until they do come back um, and also future advice about this connection though I'll see you um, at the extended cancer but if this is where we depart um, I hope this provided some form of healing or shedding some light for you cancer especially if you were on the fence with this person please take care cancer all the best see you next week